For the majority of the world, Riot Games published Wild Rift in 2020. The Americas saw its debut later in 2021. Before it was released, the game, which had been in development for years, was hailed as the upcoming mobile MOBA phenomenon. However, the pace has somewhat slowed. Many players have begun to wonder if Wild Rift is dead as a result. Developed by Riot Games, Wild Rift was one of the developer's first significant mobile-only games. The game offered the same level of competition as the original League of Legends, but it was much smaller. An Android and iOS version of League of Legends that is just as captivating as the original game. The League Esports ecosystem has been successfully managed by Riot, and they were also being considered to create a comparable framework for Wild Rift. In response to the fans' wishes, Riot announced an esports competition on the first day of the game's actual release in the year. Moonton was also following the ascent of Wild Rift. According to reports, the developer, which at the time was managing two franchised esport leagues for MLBB, gave league clubs an exclusive provision. This means that they would not be able to get in-game branded products if they had a team in any other MOBA. This probably also meant fewer financial incentives. Some teams chose to sign eSport rosters in Wild Rift in spite of this, but the game didn't quite take off. Since its debut, Wild Rift hasn't been the most popular game because it hasn't been able to keep up with rival Mobile Legends' ascent in Southeast Asia. The MLBB's eSports scene is a big factor in its appeal. Riot attempted to combat this by launching their own eSports initiative but they gave up on it within the first year. As a result, people primarily believe that Wild Rift is dead because of the decline of its esports scene. Eventually, Riot declared that it was discontinuing Wild Rift esports in the Western region. In its place, an Asia-only competition will be held. Many fans have been speculating about what may have happened if Riot had chosen to keep funding the game for a few more years in order to let the esports industry grow. Even with the decline in esports, a sizable player base continues to be drawn to the game. Although precise figures are unavailable, the game has easily topped over 50 million downloads globally. Despite their shortcomings, one must remember that there are more indicators of a successful game besides their footprint on the esports community. Even if Riot isn't concentrating on esport for Wild Rift, the development team is still working on the game. To keep players interested, the game receives frequent updates, balance adjustments, and new content. For casual players, Wild Rift is still very much alive. However, it hasn't reached the anticipated levels of competition. Which is probably why Riot Games has been pulling back its support for the Wild Rift esports environment in China and APAC for the past year. This was precisely the same reason that Riot Games' esports president, John Needham, had given back in November 2022 when he declared that the business will no longer support Wild Rift esports competitions worldwide, with the exception of Asia. Riot said it planned to pivot to a model that relies on grassroots and community-led competitions. Riot's decision to kick APAC out of the WRL is hardly shocking. According to esports charts, the WRL's two 2023 seasons failed to reach 10,000 peak viewers outside of China. To put things into perspective, MLBB's MPL Malaysia Season 14 had more than 800,000 peak viewers. We might be mistaken, but opening the door entirely for third-party competitions is a dubious step for the game's future, particularly now that MLBB and Honor of Kings are heavily investing in respective esports ecosystems. Riot Games has been adding new content to the MOBA game on a regular basis, even in spite of these negative alterations to eSport for Wild Rift. The lack of support for content makers and eSport will impede any expansion in the game's present player base, even if it still has a vibrant and committed community. The game is still quite competitive though, and many people contend that it offers a greater experience than venues like Arena of Valor or MLBB. Riot may reappear if players organize to hold grassroots competitions and create sizable communities, as Needham stated in 2022. 
However, given the quick ascent of MLBB and Honor of Kings, the latter of which recently announced a $15 million investment in esports worldwide that now appears quite improbable. Despite that, Wild Rift is still alive but the game hasn't been able to achieve the level of popularity that many had hoped for. Given that Honor of Kings, another contender, entered the mobile MOBA battle race, Riot can still work to make it happen. Do you think League of Legends Wild Rift is slowly dying, or is this just a minor obstacle that Riot will eventually overcome? Let me know what you think in the comments section below. And if you haven't yet, don't forget to like this video, share it, and subscribe to the channel. Stay safe, everyone. Peace.